Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I'm going to show a game between two World Chess Champions. Magnus Carlsen as a white and black is a beautiful lady, Hu Wen Hun. So Magnus Carlsen is rated much more than 2850-54. So it's a big difference between uh, Hu Wen Hun. She is rated around 2560, 300 points gap. That's a huge gap, but at the other side, say well done to every woman uh, who is playing chess, because chess is a beautiful game and is much more beautiful with ladies overboard. So, Bishop to c5 happened and let's watch this game where we are going to watch Italian defense. Bishop on c5 is nice bishop, is a strong and powerful bishop who is doing a good job, but a small um, disadvantage of this move that this bishop should miss should be missed on e7 in case white is playing pin move bishop to g5 so imagine that we are playing bishop to g5 and black bishop is on c5 it's too far from e7 and it's hard to break this pin at the other side this bishop on c5 is a typical italian bishop is a strong is a powerful it's a beautiful and is doing a good job so welcome in an italian game c3 b5 a bishop to b3 and d6 this move is going to support this important dance first black's bishop, but is going to lock the door and um, it's nearly no option to go back to e7 and it's no option to break any pin coming from g5. Magnus Karasen starting to be active by move a4 and now he play move d3. He's going to open dark squares diagonal and he's going immediately in next move to g5. Yes, of course, uh, white's army is a bad army. Rook, knight and bishop. These pieces are terrible bad pieces and it's important to find a good squares for these pieces. And that's exactly what's going on. You know, we are playing opening. We are playing known moves but one day at the one time we have to find a plan and here exactly white need to bring all his pieces to game let's start piece by piece one by one so bishop to g5 it's a nice move because this pin is here and as i told you this bishop is here and because of this pawn formation it's a not easy job for black for black to break this pin um, so, what to play? h4, bishop to h6 and bishop to h4, rook to b8 and because this rook is going out of this a file, it's good for Magnus to open a file. It's important to think that um, your bishop uh, love open diagonal, your knight love uh, safe and strong squares and rooks love open file. So. Move by move, uh, I have the feeling that Magnus Karasen know what he's playing and he's improving his pieces. So, exactly here, black played rook to b8, he missed a file and Magnus Karasen is opening a file. Different between these two bishops, white on b3 is much more powerful. And now, say well done to black because she found it beautiful move. She know that her bishop on b7 is bad bishop and she found it move bishop to c8 and bishop to e6 that's nice whatever and i like it because everybody know that we have to work hard to find good squares to our pieces and exactly this is the best plan and uh, knight to d2 bishop to c8 h3 and bishop to e6 well done we saw nice maneuver and we, we saw nice plan how to improve bad bishop and how to become a good bishop. Say nice plan and it's good to remember that this plan is working and is worth to remember. Bishop to d5, Magnus Karasen believe in a center and is going immediately to d5. I'm sure that d5 and f5 are weak black squares. I think that there are strong white squares and it's good to jump there. Jump there and go there by everything what is possible to go there. So bishop to d5 made a good job. Bishop to d7, 
and b4 another attack and this bishop need to go back of course it's a bad idea to go to a7 because white will take on c6 and then he will take um, bishop on a7 so uh, black need to go to b6 and still i'm sure that this bishop is doing amazing job because it's looking exactly where white is weak and bishop to b3 and g5 now is interesting moment of this game just uh, it's important question if there's any chance to take g5 pawn or no maybe it's risky so i will show this variation and watch variation where i'm going to show you knight is taking on g5 and now queen to f3 this pin one more time is terrible danger to black because of this bishop just imagine that this bishop is here black is winning but that's another story because if this bishop is on b6 you know but you know this is a interesting position because it's not exactly easy to to win this piece back and maybe this position is level or maybe it's hard to win this game if you are black of course Magnus Karasen is playing for win because he believed that he is better he is stronger and he will win this game so Magnus Karasen is not taking uh, on g5 and he came back to g3 and knight to h5 and uh, Magnus Karasen took on e5 wow what is it what is doing this move at least uh, this knight is for free so she is taking on g3 it's not nice job to take uh, this uh, this knight because of this pin and one more time just uh, remember how strong is this bishop and how great job is doing uh, from b6 magnus took on d7 and now okay just um ask um if this knight on uh, on g3 is uh, safe and if you uh, if this knight will escape, black is peace up. If this knight will not escape, maybe black will face a problem because of this pawn formation. I think that around uh, these squares we are able to find a weak squares. So, okay, what to play? Rook to e1, and it's nice to see how many moves it will be difficult uh, for white to take this knight. You know exactly what's going on if white will able to take this knight okay he should stay with small advantage uh, just imagine that uh, if black will manage to to escape with his knight his piece up so maybe this is a tough position and black played d5 white took and knight to e7 queen to g4 and knight to f5 looks like that black managed to escape but no, this is a maybe losing mistake because this is another pin, you know, too many threats and it's hard to, to solve all of these issues. So Magnus Karasen is taking, unfortunately, for black rook on e7 and right now uh, he is maybe exchange down. What's much more important that it's not important to count material, but it's important to count uh, how strong are your pieces. And I'm sure that right now white pieces are much more stronger, much more powerful than black pieces. And that's exactly um, where I believe that Magnus Karasen was uh, stronger than his beautiful opponent so into g7 knight to e4 and this knight is much more stronger than rook because he's doing amazing job uh rook to e8 and d6 okay and this pawn is going forward because he's going to open another important diagonal and of course he's attacking queen on d6 what to play a queen to e5 is a chance to exchange his queens and rook to a6 uh, looks like black pieces are going back and they are not doing any threats against white at the other side white even exchange down is playing for win and uh, that's exactly how to play chess rook to a7 d5 and white to go on d5 wow what's going on here is exchange and uh, knight to c5 looks like uh, everything is going well 
but nothing is going well because uh, these two pieces, okay, say these three pieces are twice as stronger than this bad rook on f8. Of course, now f7 square is a big square because a bishop and rook is looking exactly where is the biggest black weakness and this knight has nice check on f6. So maybe uh, you will tell me that uh, black is exchange up, but I'm not going to check who is Mm, who got more material, but I will tell you that it's much more important to have better and stronger pieces and that's exactly what is different between white's army and black's army. Maybe black's got more pieces, but uh, at the end uh, activity is exactly on my on, on Magnus Carlsen's side and now he, he delivered check on h5 and he won back a material. So, nice game. Nice game between two world chess champion and I hope you saw interesting chess game where Magnus Karasen was better because I'm sure he's stronger in chess understanding. He, he's stronger in, in a, this uh, not easy position where there is uh, imbalance in material and he's stronger to understand that even his exchange down, his pieces are stronger, has uh, had a future and he believe that activity and his, um, his play it's um, in another level than his opponent is able to find. So, okay, I'm at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. So, if yes, feel free and press like and press follow and made my day. And I hope I will see you soon in our another YouTube chess video. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye bye and take care.